I have been asked, since we are a charitable organization, um, are we involved in any uh, uh, Ukraine church or Polish church or Lithuanian church or Nestorian church? And the answer is no. We are a charitable organization, but uh, we are legit. But we are not involved in any of those groups. If you want to give money, you go to a Ukrainian church or better, a the Polish Consulate General, Lithuanian Consulate, and Storian Consulate General, or some group like that, and ask them, of course the Ukrainian Consulate General, but you ask them where you can give money. And now, some of these organizations are only created in the last two months because they're like um, the Black Doctors in Chicago, uh, which is an organization, um, raised a lot of money, bought a lot of medical equipment, which is on their way or has been delivered in Poland. And then it will be shipped over to the Ukraine doctors. Right. That's one group. Other group is um, there's a manufacturer in Wisconsin that is shipping ammo to the Ukraine. Uh, in the beginning, it was out of his pocket, but then he asked for uh, donations from people to... You know, and people donate it. Now, that's one way to do it. Uh, Ukrainian has um, uh, their own organizations raising money um, to buy medical supplies, buy uh, personal equipment that a field soldier will have because in Ukraine, you may get a uniform, Ukrainian uniform, but there may not be anything else that goes with it, like canteens or um, uh, knapsacks and things like that. They're, they're ours, yes, yes. Well, America is a very rich country and very givable, that thing. And, of course, like UNICEF, they're out there sponsoring with other groups, which is, well, if you understand terrible organization or the United Nations, they supply food and clothing and books and that to children around the world. <clears throat> and if you give money to them, uh, I would think uh, maybe 1% is going to reach the children. I don't care what their spokesman says. I mean, you have to understand, the United Nations is controlled by a couple hundred nations, and UNICEF has people from those nations so you know they they feed children in Yemen or Cuba or Venezuela or half a dozen African countries um, North Korean children need food too oh you better know it so yes uh, you may want to uh, be cautious and when you come with UNICEF they're a great organization but this war is taxing. Um, there's a lot of wars around, going around the world, and they will give funds to that way. Your dollar may uh, wind up in Nigeria, something like that. So that's basically I tell you. Watch that, and you got a lot of phony groups. With the UNICEF logo and people running around with UNICEF jackets who will collect your money and put it in their own pocket. I'm afraid to say that's the reality of uh, nonprofits. I'm, yeah. Well, it's something like this uh, a flood goes, hits a state, and there are a bunch of charities will pop up asking for money to help the flood victims. Tornado or hurricane. 
Oh, yes, the fires in California. Oh, yes, there's those little groups. Oh, yeah, they're poor, poor children. They're dying. Oh, my goodness gracious, we got to help. That money is never seen by that thing. These are, are they legitimate organizations? No, they're fly by nights. Um, remember Black Lives Matter? They pulled in about $80 million. Uh-huh, well, okay, wow. They extorted a lot of money from big corporations. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm, yes. The, Gal the Attorney General in California asked a, a very stupid question about overhead, you know, office supplies and everything else, and they found out that, I believe it was $8 million was being spent for... Um, Overhead? Oh. And ex people there, the CEOs and executives of this nonprofit, were driving around brand new cars and helped pay for location. Oh, yes. Hey, look at that nice. How many rooms in that, in that building? <clears throat> and basically, the Attorney General asked, was asked this one question. Where is $60 million? There's no accountable for it. $60 million and there's no accountable for it. That's one of the problems you have about charitable organizations. You never know where they are. Oh, yeah, they may have been around for, well, we've been around for a long, long time. But we're not out there asking for money. Oh, no, 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 no. There's, there's a whole bunch of paperwork when you deal with charitable fundraising yes and we have to be honest you know it's not the irs i really worry about it's her hmm. well i got shaking there it's her and mother does not like it as they i i irs would say as one member would say I'm not worrying about the IRS. I'm worried about Mother. Yes, by the way, um, April 15th coming up, or is it April 18th? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Um, uh, Afterlife submitted their um, e-postcard at the beginning of the year, like the third week of January, and uh, it was accepted because we made under $25,000. Way under twenty-five thousand dollars, and so, uh, as I was told, we don't have to put in a nine ninety EZ, Schedule A, or um, Schedule Zero, which is pretty good. We've only been doing it for twenty the last couple of decades, a few decades. But back to the uh, nonprofits. Watch how you give money. Because many nonprofits, if if they're really small, they are and they're legit. Yes, they're right. They have to get rid of any funds that comes in, anything that's donated that comes in that's worth has value to it. They have to get rid of it by the end of the year. So if somebody donates a car to an organization, they will sell it. Um, if it's a really a junker, rusty like like what I drive, um, they will sell it for two to three hundred dollars to a, a junk dealer, scrapyard, and they will get it. Yeah, you know? hey, Chinese buy buy old cars anyway. Um, so. What else can I say about watching your step when it comes to charitable giving? You're gullible. I'm gullible. Right. Um, if you look PBS NewsHour, you can see all the people who sponsor that. Those are all the names. And a lot of those big, big things like foundations usually are in private hands. Uh, they really watch who they give money to. Yes. Um, because, um, 
well, there are a lot of people trying to t take their money and, you know, pay for their boat, pay for their house, uh, pay for their kids' education. So, that thing. Okay, I think that should be enough. Um, good luck. And, by the way, Christmas is coming up, so you got to think of it your, yourself. Um, higher food prices, high, higher gasoline prices. Um, before you start giving to help the poor children in Ukraine or whatever, or anywhere else, think of your own own body. Um, go stock up on food. It's not that I mean rotten and vicious, but go stock up on food. Um, you never know because that war in the Ukraine, they're not going to plant any wheat this year. Nope, no wheat is to be planted. And if if and when, maybe say when, that war spills into R Mother Russia itself, um, that that farmland can may not go under the plow. Um, but it's planting season over there, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. Not in the Ukraine, it isn't. Okay, I think that's enough. Goodbye.